Hi, welcome to RIMS. I'm Scandalous. I'm Chris Drama. And this program is about the modified car scene. I'm not forgetting the girls as well. Every week, we're going to be taking you on a journey through cars, females, every aspect of the modified scene from stereos through to exhausts to wheels to drifting to donuts. People spending up to £100,000 on a car to one penny. To one penny. We're also going to take you around some of the scenes, cruises, legal and illegal. First of all, we're going to go to a legal one that was in Modified Nationals in Peterborough, Peterborough Showground. Uh, the weather was nice, wasn't it? No. Spoilers, engines and girls. We just arrived at Modified Nationals 2007. Looks like there's plenty to see. All the stuff from, from bungee jumps to, to girls in bikinis. We're going to see the lot. Don't mention there's not a lot of cars here. Oh, yeah, there's lots of cars here too. We have a look at some of them as well. We're here with Craig, who has got this mighty fine Toyota Celica here. He's going to give us a few words about it. So, Craig, how long you had the car? Three years now. You had the car three years. Yeah. Yeah. And that, has it taken three years, or did you start? Did you start as soon as you got the car, yeah, modifying it? Yeah. Started modifying straight away. So nice. Oh, okay. And what was the first thing? What was the first thing you did? Paint job, really. Uh, I don't know if we can get a few shots of the interior. As you can see, it's all it's all been it's all been done in uh, suede and leather. Um, I mean. So what sort of money does that sort of, sort of thing cost, cost you? Well, cows are near 42,000 now. 42,000? 42, Inside and out. Then what about the sound system? How much watts have you got going out of there? It's pretty lot of wattage in there. There's amps behind the seats, in the, in the dash, in the door panels. There's serious sound power in there. Right, Rick, how long you had this car? About a year and a half. Okay, and uh, it started off as a what is it? Is it one one six one eight VTEC? Yes, one four. Okay, cool. What's what's your favourite part of, of the car? Uh, I reckon it'll be the rear number plate uh, that comes in and out of the bumper on the on the motor. And is this uh, something that you thought of yourself, or is it a unique touch? Yeah, completely custom. Uh, no one else has done it yet. Um, so yeah. Okay, and what about the interior? I so, see you know, we've got all a uh, smooth dash and everything like that. I mean, is this uh, uh, how long how long you had this in there? I had that in about a year or so. Um, again, all c completely custom done. This, I'm amazed by your steering wheel, because you've got a gap here, but I've noticed the PSP on your side that fits in. And if I can plug it in, hold on. You can have a game. Goes in you can have right a game. there, so you can drive along playing Pro Evo 7 or 6, wherever it is, but while driving. That is amazing. <laughs> Um, how long has House of Colour been around? Right, OK. House of Colour um, has been in the UK for around uh, five years now. It's manufactured in the States. They take care of uh, the likes of Brazil, um, South Africa uh, and Japan. And obviously, um, it's ship then shipped to the UK from the States. And I can take, I take care of all Europe, Africa and Asia, uh, just because of the time, time differences. I mean, you've got a couple of cars here. I mean, what's the most craziest paint job you've done? On a car. Right, okay, I think the most crazy uh, would probably be something like, uh, you know, a, a marbleized sort of job, um, which is basically like a, a sort of crinkled effect. Um, you sort of, you know, you, you lay the, the this like sort of marbleized over a, a dark base coat, and then you sort of, uh, you know, you put like a, a cling film over the top, and then you sort of peel it off, and then you seal that, and then obviously you 2K clear. So it gives it that sort of, you know, crinkled effect. <laughs> We also have a chat with us basically about um, some of the accessories um, that you can get for your cars. As everyone knows, all you ladies out there, you have to accessorise. And accessorising the right way could mean great things. Paul, um, just want to have a little chat about the company. How long has uh, Mod been going? It's been going for the last three years now. Okay. Uh, mostly internet based. Okay. Um, and what is the most popular accessory that people buy from Modworld? Our most popular accessory would be lights, indicators, clear lights, rear lights, headlights. Really? 
Okay, so is, is lighting quite a big um, a big market for that at the moment? Generally, the first thing people do on their cars, they change the wheels, they put the exhaust, they do the lights. Because it's affordable. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to do. Bolt them in, that's it. What's been the weekend's bestseller? Weekend's bestseller, um, probably exhausts. Exhausts? Got a few fair food exhausts. Okay, good stuff. What's the most expensive accessory you, do you do? The full system exhaust, we do the reclining leather, sports seats, we do all sorts. Okay, well you heard, if you need accessories for your car, which I'm sure many of you do out there, because I've seen some sheds around today, um, so uh, get, onto, uh, get onto Mod World, make sure you sort your car out. Yeah. Some right sheds. Yeah. Spoilers, engines and girls.